Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the rulers tool in Photoshop. So um, if you want to follow along, just make any old template or you may already have a design open. That's cool. Just open up something so you can start using the ruler tool. All right, so you'll notice that I've got these rulers appearing up the top here and then on the side. If you don't have that showing in Photoshop, it's super easy to turn them off and on. You just press Control and R on your keyboard. That will get rid of them if you don't have them on. And then if you want to turn them back on, you just press Control and R again. Um, up the top here, that's the keyboard shortcut. If you want to go to the view menu and then tick rulers and then it'll do the same thing. So when you see this here, that's the keyboard shortcut. So Control and R if you don't want to waste time going all the way up here to this menu and then clicking rulers. All right, so now that we've got them turned on, let's actually use them. So I'm just going to make a shape um, just to show you how to use it. So let's just draw a circle. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to put a line through the center of my circle and find like the exact middle. So you can left click here and then drag down and that will bring down the ruler for you. And you'll notice, um, you can swatch it, see how it just like snapped then? So the other thing that I like to use in conjunction with the rulers tool is the snap option. So if you go to view and make sure that snap is ticked as well as all of these other ones as well. So then in conjunction with the rulers tool, the snap tool will work and it makes it really quick and easy and fast to do things in Photoshop. So I've just brought this ruler down halfway. So now I can leave this on here. It won't print in your design. It's only what you see on your screen. When you go to print, it won't have this blue line through the middle of it. So you don't need to worry about that. So now you can do your design. So if say you wanted to make a label and you wanted half of the design to have like a chevron pattern up the top and half just to have like a solid color, a plain color, then you'll know exactly where to split your line with the ruler tool. So the other thing that you can do is bring it in from the left side as well, exact same as the top. You just left click and drag to bring it in and see how you can watch it snap. So now you can find the exact center point as well. So that's another reason that I use it is to find the exact midpoint in your shape or your clip art or whatever you want to um, align. So that's how you use the rulers. When you want to get rid of them, you just left click and drag to move them. You can put more than one ruler on at a time. So you can drag down and add a whole bunch of them if you wanted to. So if you were making a printable and you wanted to set up your page margins, you could drag some in from the side for your vertical ones and then do some for your horizontal ones as well. And then this gives you like an outline of where you shouldn't put anything. So don't put any like color or text unless you want it to get cut off when it gets printed out, which obviously we don't. So that's another reason um, I like using rulers. You can turn them on for guides. If you download a template, for example, from Vistaprint, if you're getting business cards made, you'll notice that it will usually have these ruler tools um, turned on as well. So basically it's just to know where to not put any, anything of your design um, to make sure that it all gets printed, you need to put it within these boundaries. So you can choose whatever you want for your like margins. I tend to go 0 0.5 inches as my maximum because otherwise you end up wasting a fair bit of paper and most printables um, printers don't have a problem printing printables that have that margin size. So that's basically how I use the rulers tool. Remember just left click and drag to get rid of them. Once you see, see how it's got that little upward arrow and downward arrow, that means you've got like you're hovering over it hovered over it, you can then just left click and drag to get rid of it. So that's how I use the rulers tool. If you wanted to make something, I'll just quickly, um, one last thing. If you wanted to, for example, make a rectangle that was like perfectly one inch, you could use the ruler tool like that, but it is a little inefficient. You'd be better off just using the shape tool, left clicking and entering in your dimensions that way. So if you're thinking about using it to like make sure you've got something sized at a specific um, size, <laughs> that sounds a bit weird, um, just left click and then you can enter in your dimensions for the shape and it's better to do that in the shape menu than the rulers. I really only recommend using the rulers as a cut line and then also just as like a um, temporary like marker of where to not extend in your design, especially if you've got things with multiple elements or say you wanted to have your text not extending beyond anything beyond um, these areas here. So you just wanted to keep your text in this section of your template that's another good um, way that you could use rulers. So you don't have to worry about turning them off before you go to print because these will not print um, even though they show they won't show up on your, like they're showing in Photoshop, but when you save it as a PDF or a JPEG or whatever file format you want to use, these blue lines will not show up. So you don't need to worry about turning them off um, or getting rid of them unless you want to. So that's how I use the ruler tools in Photoshop. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. 
And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Photoshop, graphic design, planner, printables related videos. And I'll also include a link below to um, my blog where I have tons more tutorials as well. Thanks for watching.